New York's Catholic Archbishop is among 22 men elevated to Cardinal by Pope Benedict Saturday. Timothy Dolan smiled broadly as he approached the Pope. It came a day after he received a heartfelt papal thumbs up for his animated speech to cardinals about spreading the faith. He said, well, thank you again for yesterday. I said, well, thank, I said, thank you for this. And then I guess that's what made him smile. I'm the one who's grateful. He doesn't, he doesn't have to be thanking me. I'm the one. And I thank, and I, you run out of words to say. He said, well, thank you for your conference yesterday. I said, well, thank you for making me a cardinal. And then I looked, I said, thanks for the cross, because he gave me this when we were on the ad limina. So I'm grateful to him. It happened to miss a greatly simplified ceremony that took into account evidence the 84-year-old pontiff is slowing down. The ceremony was clouded by embarrassing leaks of internal documents alleging financial mismanagement in Vatican affairs. There were also reports in the Italian media of political jockeying among church officials who, sensing an increasingly weak pontiff, are already preparing for a conclave. Benedict was wheeled into St. Peter's Basilica aboard the moving platform he's been using for several months to spare him the long walk down the center aisle. Seven of the 22 new cardinals are Italian. Italians now count for nearly one in four cardinals who can vote for the next pope, increasing the chances that Italy could take back the papacy. Matt Friedman, Associated Press.